Good morning, everybody. Um, I gotta be a little quiet because people are sleeping. See a Christmas tree right there? Um, we're going to church this morning and then we're going over to my parents' house. So, um, I have to milk a little bit earlier this morning. I have to say, wasn't a big fan of getting out of bed that early, but such is life. So, let's go milk the cow. <laughs> Still, if I don't have any food, he won't come right over to me. But if I've got food, man, he is right underneath my feet. He wants to see what I'm doing and when I'm gonna give it to him. So he's getting tame. It's dark enough out that I'm turning the light on. Close up the gate so that little red can't come in after he's done eating and try to eat her grain and just mess up milking. And let's get to milking. Same as a big one. Yeah. My parents got a new treadmill for their cottage. They don't have a whole lot of space at their cottage. And this is the treadmill right here. It's a specifically walking only treadmill. And you can actually tip it over this way and sit on this side and use it as a bench. They're not gonna do that, but. Pretty tiny. Pretty cool. Nana, Nana can you, you never did the show. I know. Nana, don't touch those. Don't touch those. Don't touch those. Are you beeping his nose? This is real. Hey guys, you saw a couple of clips of us hanging out over at my parents. We had not yet done Christmas with them because they were in Wisconsin visiting my grandparents, my grandmothers, um, over Christmas. So we got together with them now. I was able to borrow a bigger sander for my dad. So this is a four inch belt and then a six inch disc as opposed to my one inch belt and four inch disc, five inch disc. But then I had been following these, somebody had listed a bunch of um, tongs, blacksmith tongs on Facebook Marketplace. So I'd been watching them for a while. They'd originally listed them at $300. They had dropped it to 250 to 200. So when it dropped it to 200, I um, responded and said, hey, you know, I'd be interested. What would you take for them? They responded with 175. Here's a uh, pro tip for you. Never negotiate against yourself. Don't say, hey, would you take 175? Ask them what they'd take. Let them throw the first number out. Um, so they said 175. And I said, well, okay, but you know, where you live is not as close to where I live. You know, do you ever get over this direction? Well, they just happened to say, well, we're gonna be there tomorrow. Um, so I said, okay, you know, let me think about it. Texted them back the next day and said, you know, I could probably meet you, but I can only do 150. So they said, okay, if you can meet at, you know, this time. So I was able to go meet him, let me show you. Okay, so I got all of these tongs for 150. You can see, I think there's like 17 tongs and then some fire pokers, but there's a bunch of different kinds. So this one is like a, a plate holder. You can see it would hold a plate in there. This one has got it would hold a bigger thing. Um, there's, I don't know what this one is for, but I don't know if you can see that. Can you open it up? Um, so Aquaman's gonna open it up, turn it 
so you can see it's got a ball so i don't know if you'd use it to make a ball um or if it'd be to hold the ball there's this one here it's got a big tongs this is the one i was really interested in because i think this is a hammer eye tong so you could put a hammer billet in here and then that would hold in the the eye where the um um, the handle would go, but there's a whole bunch, and it was, I'm actually much happier with this, here's another ball one, I'm much happier with this now, see this one would hold a, um, a round bar, um, I didn't realize, because the way they had them in the picture, was they're all just laid flat down, so all you could see was this, uh, that, you couldn't tell if it was curved, if it was a wolf jaw, if it had the you know ball or any texture. So I'm actually much more pleased with the purchases now. And the other thing is they didn't have any reference for size. So I didn't know if this one, which is probably, I don't know, two feet, 30 inches long. Um, you can see it's long. Um, I didn't know if it was, you know, 18 inches long I mean it looked longer but you really can't tell I could you know like this is one of the shortest ones right here but even it is you know long enough for if I hold it from here I could put something sideways into the you know the forge so pretty pleased about it I'm gonna have these guys help me take uh, these and then I'll carry in the sander and we'll carry in the presents and we'll uh, I don't know how much more we're gonna do today I was thinking about putting the sides on that but it's pretty cold and you can see the sun's getting low in the sky. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a nail hook. I'm going to use the MAPS torch. Yes, you can. Go ahead, say hi. Okay, I'm gonna use the MAPS torch to heat up the nail. I'll start with the head and I'm gonna pound the head out flat. And then I'll heat up the other end and roll it up as a hook. At least that's the plan. Um, I tried rolling it cold and it's thin enough that it'll roll, but it's brittle enough that it'll snap. So I'm going to have to heat it up. So we'll see how this goes. see it got really hot really fast but it's also losing heat really fast <clears throat> I'm just using this little anvil thing that I've got here Okay, so I got it flattened out. You can see it is flat now. So now I'm gonna let it cool for a second. I'm gonna hold the, uh, the other side, warm it up, and see if I can bend it. You can see how I tried to bend it already and it just snapped off. We'll see if I can heat it up. See it's hot. Let's see if we can turn the end here. Daddy. Daddy. That turned. I don't know if we turn the whole thing. That should turn out okay. You can see it's got a little scroll in it there, and then it's got a curve. It's not perfect, but considering I'm just using little jeweler's scrolling tongs, um, I'm gonna say that's not too bad. So, um, they cool off pretty quick actually. So, what I'll do is I'll center punch that spot right here and put a hole in it so that we can just put a little screw 
and screw it into something. And then we've got a little hook that you can hang your keys on, you know, whatever. Pretty cool, huh? Took just a couple seconds and I'm not very good at it yet, so. So this is what we started with, this nail right here. You can see how the head is, you know, raised like that. And then this is what we ended with, like that. I think maybe what I'd do is like make three or four of these and then um, put them on like a board and then like make a key rack board or something. Let's try another one. What do you think? What do you think of Daddy's hooks? Good. They're good? Yeah. Good. So just for the record, I used that hammer I just uh, handled the other day to flatten out those hooks. Seemed to work fine. I still need to work on the handle a bit. Um, I think having my dad's saw will help. Um, and then I trimmed off the excess that came out over here because it wouldn't sit on the ground. Like if you set it down like that, there was too much left over and it just fell. So this should work. So this is what they look like, and if I had screwed them into the, like a, a board like this, they'd make a little key ring hook, as you can see from the side. You can see the mark on my head from the, uh, when I put these up on my head, safety goggles, like that. Anyway, so yeah, literally it took very little hey, maps guys, gas, you can say hi again. Oh, yeah, yeah. It took very little maps gas, uh, it took very little time. Um, it's something that you could do even if you didn't have a forge or really didn't have any tools. You could just use wrenches and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that was fun. I don't know, maybe I'll put it on a board, stain the board, and give it away or sell it or something. Who knows? We'll find out. Anyway, I'm on to the next thing. Okay, so I used my dad's belt sander, took off a little bit more on the handle, um, and then I used my work sharp right here um, and kind of buffed out the handle so it looks like it's got a nice finish and it feels really good in the hand so I think I'm gonna keep it for now maybe throw some mineral oil on it I may kind of polish the or sand the lacquer off the rest of it and just put some uh, boiled linseed oil or something on it because um, I don't like how this it just this is slippery um, but I really like how this feels so yeah anyway we're gonna head inside here in a second okay so just as i was about to head in two knuckleheads decided to come out and stop playing the video games one two and what did we make made a little that's cowboy's hook and aquaman's hook so now they know how to make nail hooks so we're a family of nail hookers right well just nail hook makers makes <laughs> sense Guys, thank you so much for uh, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a beautiful sunset. The camera doesn't do it justice, but it's beautiful. Um, if you've got this far, please click on that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And uh, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.